Hi everybody, Co Styles here and welcome back to my channel. I've lately been on a journey to find my dream capsule wardrobe and it was really inspired by some of the recent videos that you guys really resonated with but also personally I do not have too much of a closet space in New York. With that in mind I was like how do I build a wardrobe that I get super excited about and every day I feel the best version of myself. It's honestly been kind of a long journey. For the past few years, I've been kind of like shopping on the fly and looking for things that I like. Now, I wasn't really shopping as intentionally to think about, you know, what I actually like wear on a daily basis. What sort of settings do you have to adjust to? Like, do you go to work every day or do you work from home? Like, all of these like lifestyle differences, I haven't really factored those into what I buy, how I buy, and why I buy things. I'm really determined to develop a closet where I'm super excited to get dressed every day and everything that I own, you know, seamlessly matches back to each other. Today's video is all about shopping intentionally and also kind of the pre-steps that you need to take to really finding your dream wardrobe. So the first thing I was set out to do was just massive clean out of the closet. I went through every single item and asked myself those questions. Have I worn this in the past year? Is this something that I still enjoy to this day? Does it even fit me properly? This process took quite a bit of time because you know I'm going through everything and I'm trying things on so imagine yourself walking into a boutique and it's very nicely organized and it's like spaced out for you to really enjoy each of the pieces and then evaluate as their own that's the type of feeling that I was really going for previously I had jam-packed a lot of the clothes in the closet and it was really hard for me to like get through and actually individually pick the pieces out I would recommend to really go for that spaced out boutique vibe we're often you know bombarded with like quantities of Stuff, really focusing on the quality of each pieces and making sure that your closet is not filled to the brim but like nicely spaced out for you to really enjoy each pieces I think was really critical in my mission today so this step inevitably came with me organizing the closet which honestly you know give yourself weeks days to really go through it all organizing it by kind of like the silhouette so all the blazers together all the tank tops together really helps you visualize and identify pieces really quickly so I highly recommend that as you're doing this practice organize your closet and try all the pieces and you should end up uh, with a pretty big bag of things that don't belong to you anymore nicely stowed away so that you can donate thrift or sell without trying to make this process so philosophical the more you let go of things that don't belong to you the more space you enable for things that belong in your life and the physical space that you live in the clothing that you wear and it's you know different components that enable you to be who you are so i think this whole practice of like emptying what doesn't belong has been really therapeutic on my end so here are some of the examples of the things that i'm throwing away so this crochet top, it was a fast fashion purchase. Like I bought into kind of that crochet handmade look when in reality, it's really not, you know, that well-made. Realizing that I really want to invest more into pieces that will last me a little bit longer. More inexpensive clothes break down in the washer and dryer process. So if anything, it's hard to keep up and it's more costly to maintain. Another item that I'm giving away are these pants. Uh, it's something that I bought off sale. At the point in time, I thought I was making the right purchase. It's really rare for me to grab for a, such a bright toned color pants. I feel like I gravitate towards darker pants. Often thought to myself, there will be a day where I pick these out of the closet and wear it, but as it's something that's really not preferential for me, buying it off of sale really didn't add value to my life. This will be something that I definitely give away. And also it's type of fabric that's shrunk in the wash so it no longer fits me properly. Instead of holding on to pieces that you think you'll wear one day or that you'll fit into one day, I think it's just better to find pants that just fit you exactly in the moment and that you love. Uh, we're back at my desk. Hopefully now you understand how important it is to take that precursor step to really emptying out the closet of the things that you don't need or want anymore to make space for the things that you do want. That practice is really critical. You are thinking through the reasons why you don't want that anymore. It kind of gives you an anti-shopping list of like what not to buy in the future, whether it be a fabric that shrinks often, a color that doesn't really flatter you, or a brand that you don't want to support. There's a lot of themes that are happening as you're looking through the no piles that can really craft your yes pile list. Now that you have a little bit more closet space, Let's get inspired. 
So where can we go for inspiration? My favorite place to go is Pinterest by far. I mean, I feel like any type of social media enables you to kind of see what other people are wearing, but I feel like Pinterest is really good for a few things. Uh, first thing is its searchability. And I feel like the algorithm is really good at picking up things you like by the way that you interact with them and save them. And then does a really good job of then suggesting something very similar and continuing to refresh your feed based on your liking. They're kind of already inspired off of some of the things I favorited. I will continue to kind of like look down and add things that I really like and definitely take your time on this. I think this is where you have to be super critical of what you like and what you don't like. So for example, let's say I really like the style of this. If I wanted to explore more of this handbag, I can click on the handbag and then it brings me a whole bunch of options for me to shop off of. You can obviously filter by some of the price points or even sellers. So this is definitely a place where you can eat, not only identify some of the items that you would like to have, but also kind of link out to the direct websites where you could purchase some of those items. It also kind of gives you more like this. I really like the style of this. I think I'm able to kind of confirm that by looking at more styles like this and saying like, oh, would I actually wear something tangent to this? And what are some of the ways that I can wear if I were to purchase? It's just overall a really good way for you to get inspired. All right, so now you're a little bit more inspired and have a better understanding of what you like and don't like. And what's more is that you have an entire folder dedicated to the things that you want to buy. So I usually like to kind of have this as like a shopping guide for any time I go out. Pinterest is also a great way for you to just directly go off to a link that sells similar items, but you can certainly take the time to slowly build. So at this point of your journey, you not only have emptied out and have some space for your new stuff, inspired, have a general understanding of the running themes and items that you really want to incorporate into your closet. And now you even have a shopping list to go off of. I really want to recommend you shop from your own closet first. This may seem a little counterproductive, but in doing this exercise reminded me of like new ways that I can wear existing pieces. On top of that, I want to highly recommend checking out some clothing rentals like Newly or Rent the Runway to kind of test out some of the pieces or actually fully committing to each pieces. And in this process, I highly recommend you actually go into stores to try things on, especially if you've been kind of out of touch of what looks good on you, what fits you well, just really start to understand by going in and actually trying on multiple sizes. It's also been a game changer for me is getting a measuring tape. If I want the furniture to fit in the living room, I measure what needs to be. When I want the clothing to fit, I have to measure myself. But in reality, different brands carry different sizes. I think the best learnings that I've had is really looking at the size guide and the size chart that they provide to understand what their fours and their six means. Even the size guides or the size chart actually provide you a way to measure yourself. You know, there are certain areas like waist, hip and bust that I didn't quite understand how to, but they're very usually clear about where to measure and how to measure for you to find the right fit. This little number has been a huge game changer for me. And I also love, love, love to save. So if you are a super saver or a budget shopper like me, I would highly recommend to go to off price retailers like Ross or TJ Maxx or Nordstrom Rack. Uh, it's a good way for you to be introduced to more higher ticketed items without necessarily having to break your bank. I also recently discovered Rakuten. This might be a, an old news for a whole lot of you guys, but it's essentially a place where on top of kind of like your existing credit card earnings, you can kind of stack them and get more cash back. Watered down version explanation that made sense to me was they essentially get a commission by bringing you guys in. So they share a little bit of that commission to you. So normally, it's usually like two to 3% extra cash backs, but they have promotional periods where they have more cash back. So it's just another layer that you can add into your savings. Um, not to mention, it's also a good place for you to kind of just see all promotions. So beyond the cash back promotions that they have, they also kind of list out all the promotions that the retailer is having. So it's just a one stop shop for me to shop off of and get additional cash back. And I think it's by every quarter where they send you a huge check, they call it um, 
it's a normal size check, but they send you essentially a check of all the savings that you've had. And you can just easily cash that into your checking account. I've kind of reached a point in my life where I feel a little bit lost in what I like and what I want to buy. And creating this video was kind of a reset for me to understand how to go about things. You know, um, I guess maybe I hadn't invested so much time into picking the right items for me to wear. And I feel like it makes such a difference wearing the pieces that fit you correctly and that really energizes you. So I hope that, you know, some of these step by steps or even a piece of it really helped you get inspired to find the right items for you. Uh, for ease of access down below, I will link down my Pinterest board. I will link down my Rakuten referral and some of the websites that I've mentioned, like Newly and Rent the Runway. All the items that I picked today is actually going to play a part in my next video, which is going to be my spring capsule wardrobe. So you've kind of got like a little preview into some of the items that I will be incorporating, but I'm so excited to create that video as well because I really thought so hard into handpicking those items that I know is going to play such a big role in my life. And I'm going to get excited to get ready in the morning every day. It's going to fit me right. Like I'm not going to have to think too hard to put on a fabulous outfit. So I'm super excited to share that with you guys as well. Cheers to that and have a great rest of your day. Bye.